Okay, I'm a little bit scared about this one. I have never enjoyed playing with modeled amps and up until very recently, profiling made no sense to me because of its cost. But with how things are going, I think it would be stupid not to at least give them a try. So today I'm going to try out the free version of the Tonex as well as the Neural Amp Modeler and see if either one of them or both have the three things I'm looking for. I will not cover high gain sounds as this is something that I have little experience in, but I will look into profiles from clean to crunch. Ok, so the three things I'm looking for are first of all of course sound quality, although I think most profilers nowadays do an excellent job in that department. The second one is how each one of them works with pedals. And the third one is how they interact with my guitar. Because using the volume knob on my guitar is something that I really enjoy and I usually prefer the sounds that come from a guitar when the volume is not on 10. This is something that always disappoints me on every amp simulation. There are also two things that I am not looking for. First of all, I personally don't really care how close its profile is to the real thing. For me this system is an opportunity to build a library for the studio here and have amps that I would otherwise not be able to get to. So if it is in the ballpark sound wise and it sounds good, it is good for me. Also of course I am not looking for the feel of an amp in a room because this is not fair and uh, I don't think this is the main point of these systems. Ok, so I have one profile of each of the three categories I want to test. The profiles are not the same on each program, but I try to find something similar in gain and see, first of all, how they sound in general, second, how they interact with the guitar and how they are doing with some added gain from pedals. So let's start with the cleanest ones, which are two profiles of some Supros that I haven't played in real life. I will not use the EQs on each program and whenever there isn't a cabinet uh, baked into the profile, I will use uh, a cabinet from Torpedo Wall of Sound. Thank you. 
<laughs> well, consider me pleasantly surprised. Both of these platforms come much, much closer to how I would expect a real amp to work uh, in comparison with the amp simulations I am used to. The response to both pedals and my guitar volume is much better than the amp simulations I am using which are currently the bias effects mainly, but it is not quite there yet. Regarding the response to the guitar volume, I don't know if this is something that has to do with the profilers themselves or with the impedance on the input of my sound card. I would love if someone with more experience let me know in the comments. Also, and I think this is in contrast with most people, I like having less options, especially when I am just playing guitar. I love the fact that when I listen to a profile that I like, I just download it and play. Yes, the flexibility is not the same as either an amp simulation or a real amp, but with the exception of the gain, I think I can get by for my needs with the EQ provided with either of these modelers. I would love to see as things evolve, if it will become possible to profile maybe the range of the EQ of the amp as well as the gain range. So yes, I think that it is time for me to explore this whole ecosystem. Right now, Tonex has more sounds that I enjoy in comparison to neural amp modeling which is more high gain focused but I think as time passes and as each community grows both uh, will expand. The next step I want to try is to profile some of the amps I have here as well as some of my friends amps so that I can build a library for the studio. Will they replace my real amps? No, but I think they are a great tool for recording and also a very very nice way for everybody to try and see which amps they enjoy more. Recently I have become real tired of the whole conversation of tube amps versus solid state amps simulations or profiling because at the end of the day you choose the right tool for the job, you play what inspires you and most importantly you play with what you got and this is where these systems are really really cool because you don't have to listen to the opinion of anybody, you can download them for free and try them out for yourselves and create some really cool music with them. Thank you very much for watching, my name is Dalam and I'll see you in the next one. Arms and profiling... <coughs> <laughs> okay.